How to Anonymize Your Data in a Spreadsheet. This is LibreOffice Calc, a free open source spreadsheet program that's similar to Microsoft Excel. It has many of the same features, functions, and user interface elements as Excel. It is, however, slightly different. I'll illustrate how to use it in a moment. And I want to warn that there are some quirky behaviors or bugs in LibreOffice Calc. We might see one during this demonstration. What do I mean by anonymizing data? This is a simple, fictitious sales ledger for a business. So each row is a sales with the customer name, the actual customer name, the amount of money the customer paid, and the date. For various reasons, the company here might want to share this information with a financial analyst or an attorney or some kind of consultant. They don't want to disclose their customer names for various reasons, including privacy of the customers and the possibility that information might leak or be used against their business. Someone might steal their customers, problems like that. So they don't want to give away the customer name. Instead, they want to give the same ledger, but with a code name for each unique customer. And I'm going to show how to do that in LibreOffice Calc. The process in Excel is very similar, but probably slightly different. The first step is to get a list of the customers. So I'm going to do edit, copy, I'll go down a ways, and I'm now going to, and this is important, there's quirky behavior if you use formatting, as in quirky as in bugs. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So this is the list from the sales ledger. Note that there are duplicates. John Smith buys whatever their product is twice. Jenna Carter does the same. We want a unique list. So this is going to be a lookup table for the anonymization. So it gives you the actual name of the customer and the code name. Put the code name here. So the first thing we do is build this lookup table by first getting a list of the unique customer names. So we go to data, more filters, standard filter, and we have filter criteria. One criterion we want to require, and the only one we care about at this point, is that the cell is not empty, in other words, it has a name in it. We also want to pick one option here, that's no duplications. So we're going to filter out the duplicates, and that's what happens. We now have the eight unique names for my customers. Great. So we have John Smith and he's not repeated. All right, so now we, how do we make these code names? Let's just pick a very simple code name. Now, important here is that the code name ends with a number. The spreadsheet is smart enough, at least when it's working right, there, it did it right. See, it increments the number automatically. You don't have to do it by hand. I have seen this fail on the first try in LibreOffice Calc. So I will see customer 1001, and instead of getting 1002, which is what's supposed to happen, I keep getting 1001. In those cases, I've had to back up and retry, and it will start working. So that's an example of one of the problems that I've seen. I've seen some other problems when I was using copying things with their formatting and so forth. So I don't use that. You'll see me do that repeatedly. Okay, so this is our lookup table. What we want to do is create a copy of the original sales ledger with all of these names replaced by their code name. So the next step is we're going to make a copy of the sales ledger. This is the original ledger from your accounting system, our company's accounting system. We're going to copy. Now we're going to go down here a ways, and we're going to do paste special, paste unformatted text. We can check here the preview. It's probably a good idea to do that. It all looks like what we would expect. Notice that we have our separator as a tab. That allows the full names with spaces in them all to fit in one column, which is what we want. Also important later on is this evaluate formulas option, which is checked. That's really not important at this stage, but later than that, at the final stage, it will be important. Okay. All right. So what this is going to be is the anonymized ledger with formulas. And I'll explain that in a little bit more detail. All right, so the thing is we want this to get replaced by the customer code and we want that to happen to all of these sales. So the way we do that is we type equal. Okay, that invokes a function. 
The function is called VLOOKUP, which is short for Vertical Lookup. It's this function which is present in LibreOffice Calc. It's also in Microsoft Excel and works pretty much the same way. All right, where do we want to look this up? We want to go back to the original ledger and click on the cell with John Smith, which is the cell for the first sales in the sales ledger. And notice that's what gets passed to VLOOKUP. So what VLOOKUP is going to do is it's going to look for a value associated with the value in A3, John Smith, in this lookup table. So it'll get to John Smith and then it'll jump over to the next column and say, oh, that's what I should return for VLOOKUP. How do I do that? Well, I got to specify as the second argument to VLOOKUP the lookup table. So I select the upper left corner of the actual table, not the headers here. I go down to the lower right corner. I'm going to press Shift and click with the mouse pointer. I click with the mouse pointer and then you can see it's outlined the table. This is the lookup table. And notice that it has put a range corresponding to that rectangular range. So the upper left cell is identified as A16, column A, row 16. And the lower right corner is B24, column B24. That's what I have here. Now I'm going to do something special here. In order to actually update all of them, what I want to refer to is the absolute location of this table. We don't want that location updated when we drag. I'm going to show the drag. I will do a drag similar to what I did to generate the sequence of customer of codes, the codes with a number. All right. Now we want to put in the, what it says here is this very cryptic co column index number. Okay, that's two. What that refers to is the column I'm going to look up the value in. So when I get encounter John Smith, I go over to column two and I get customer 101. The final option of the four is zero. This just means an exact match. If I type in Jonathan Smithy or something different from John Smith, even by one space or one letter, it will not return the correct customer code, the code name. All right, let's see if that works. Yep, we get cust 001001, and that's the code name for John Smith. Now the magic comes in. All right, I'm going to grab on the lower right corner of the cell, there's this little box. That's the cell handle, and I'm going to drag it down to cover all the data. And voila, it immediately updates all of the code names for the correct value in that cell. Now the reason it's doing that is because it's a copy of the original you know, sales ledger, which has no code names. So as it's dragging down here, it's actually looking in these, in these cells up here in the original ledger and returning their value here from the lookup function, from VLOOKUP. So that's how it works. So I'm almost there at this point. I have an anonymized ledger, but what I have are formulas in here. I can't actually give this to a third party, to a consultant or a financial analyst, because they don't have the lookup table, and we don't want to give them the lookup table. So we need to transform this into purely text or data values. There should be no formulas in it. So that's the next step. So what I do is I do another copy. All right. I'm going to go down here a ways, and I will paste again. I'll do paste special, paste unformatted text. There is a shortcut for this right here. Control, Alt, Shift, V. And let's do that. Now notice, again, we have the same information as tab delimited. And this is where the evaluate formulas comes in, because that's going to take the VLOOKUP, the equal formula. And it's going to turn it into text, into the code name. So here we take out the formulas, right? It's not formulas. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Um, let me see if I can get that. OK, here we are. OK. So I want to get rid of formulas and with values. So again, I've gotten rid of the equals. Let me show you that that actually happens. See, it's cust1001. Up here in this one with the formulas, I get this lookup. And it won't work unless I have this lookup table. But that's not what I want to give my, uh, you know, the third party that I'd like to take a look at the anonymized sales ledger. Oh, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make the sales ledger bold. And in fact, I'm going to go a little bit further and see if I can do something that makes it look a little bit nicer. Once we get to the final end to send the thing to the, uh, the third party, we might want to clean it up a little bit and format some things, something that causes problems from what I can tell in the, the series of steps to get to this point. 
So I want to format the columns and I want to get them to look nice. So I want this optimal width. There we are. Now see that's easier to read, looks more professional, etc. Now what I'm going to do is select that and I'll probably have to reformat it again but when I copy it. But now I want to make a spreadsheet file that I will send to my third party consultant or whomever. So this is going to be, uh, let me maximize this, okay. I'm going to start out setting it into a nicer format table and I'm going to do the following. I'm going to control V. Uh, actually, okay. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but we will do a paste and see if we get it. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Now I paste it with, I mean, as you can see, it's not quite right. We lost the optimal width. We can f easily regain that. We do columns, optimal width again. Just leave with my default. Okay, now it looks really great. Now the final thing I'm going to do is save it as a, I'm going to call it anonymized ledger for a third party. So this is someone, whatever the reason we want them to see this, but we don't want them to know the customer name. Actually, I did not boldface that. And one other thing we can do now is do this. And now if this is a pretty short, it's only has maybe 10 entries. So this is just for show. But if we had hundreds or thousands of entries in our sales ledger or even more, this feature would be m more clear why you would want to use it. And that, in a nutshell, is how to anonymize your data in a spreadsheet. Excel is very similar, but it's not identical. It has some differences from LibreOffice Calc. VLOOKUP is the same, or almost the same, except for maybe that zero is just an explicit false uh, ident you know, fa you just put in the word false instead of zero. That means there's no approximate matching. It has to be perfect agreement. And there's a few other differences. Some of the features I showed maybe at different menu locations in Microsoft Excel. In the future, we'll try to put out a video specifically showing how to do this in Excel. But that's the basic idea. This is how to anonymize your data in a spreadsheet. Now, let me show you the version of the BrayOffice that we're using. It is version 24.2.5.2. We're on a Microsoft Windows computer, Windows 10. And I want to check for updates. I want to show and demonstrate that it's up to date. Yep, LibreOffice 24.2 is up to date. So we have the latest version of LibreOffice as of the date this video is produced. That concludes how to anonymize your data in a spreadsheet.